Be still thy power and come, Lord, to save us in living ways. Reveal thy bounty and goodness, diffuse thy splendor and grace. Lift your eyes to the hill, seek the Savior until he appears. It is God who comes to our will, God incarnate our ransom has failed. Bestow thy power and come, Lord, to save us in laden ways. Reveal thy bounty and goodness, diffuse thy splendor and grace. My brothers and sisters, today is the sixth day of the Villa of Nativity of Our Lady and in today's Gospel we see some Pharisees and scribes coming to Jesus and asking Him, we have our disciples John the Baptist had his disciples, we and our disciples do fasting twice a week, but we never see your disciples fasting. What is the meaning? So Jesus said, as long as the bridegroom is with the attendants, there is no need of doing any fasting. But when the bridegroom is taken away from them, it will be the time that uh, they uh, do the fasting and penance. And uh, that is why Jesus showed that we must not do any fasting and penance to show to the people, but to do it inwardly so that God sees it and God gives us the benefit for that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with also your with spirit. you. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. People must think of us as Christ's servants, stewards entrusted with the mysteries of God. What is expected of stewards is that each one should be found worthy of his trust. Not that it makes the slightest difference to me whether you or indeed any human tribunal find me worthy or not. I will not even pass judgment on myself. True, my conscience does not reproach me at all. But that does not prove that I am acquitted. The Lord alone is my judge. There must be no passing of premature judgment. Leave that until the Lord comes. He will light up all that is hidden in the dark and reveal the secret intentions of men's hearts. Then will be the time for each one to have whatever praise he deserves from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to God's word shall be, The salvation of the just comes from the Lord together. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, He will grant your heart's desire. Our response, The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in Him and He will act, so that your justice brings forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice and will never forsake His friends. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in Him. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. O Lord. The Pharisees and the scribes said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees too, but yours. Go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom attendants fast while the bridegroom is with them. But the time will come, the time for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, that will be the time when they will fast. He also told them this parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to put it on an old cloak. If he does, not only will he have torn the new one, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And nobody puts new wine into the old skins if he does, 
the new wine will burst the skins and uh, then run out and the skins will be lost though new wine must be poured into fresh skins and nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new the old is good he says the gospel of the lord praise, praise to your lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. christ my dear brothers and sisters john the evangelist in his gospel shows mother mary only at the beginning and on mount calvary that is at the end of jesus and the death of jesus in between the gospel he doesn't mention anywhere mary in the gospel so what is the symbolism that jesus mary is with jesus at the beginning at the feast of cana and afterwards she is with him under his cross the sorrowful mother under the cross john wants to show that our redemption is not achieved by jesus alone but it is jesus and mary both of them have achieved our redemption and we are redeemed by both of them now how jesus achieved our redemption by his sufferings on the cross and uh, mother mary when she was under the cross it is said how she is under the cross full of suffering weeping into tears to see her son suffering and she also suffered a lot along with jesus on the cross so suffering is sacrifice suffering and sacrifice are the two sides of the same coin so jesus underwent suffering and sacrifice mother mary also underwent suffering and sacrifice so also like jesus and mother mary we cannot separate sacrifice and suffering for our lives or the contrary as we suffer and as we do the sacrifice jesus will always reward for the suffering and the sacrifice which you have paid so when we are seriously ill with different diseases like cancer or uh, aids etc or even heart attack and bypass surgery we are undergoing lots of suffering but it is not only suffering but also a sacrifice along with jesus and mother mary's life of suffering and sacrifices and jesus will reward us for that and mother mary will smile at us and she will also reward us amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Pray by brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offering that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name of this nativity, the weather of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the billions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and earth, the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation, may our voices we join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of God hosts, of power and power, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayed throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all your died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and all are yours forever and ever amen 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 at the savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to say Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold he who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof but only say the, say word, the word and my soul shall be healed an act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen navina in honor of our blessed mother the memorari remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help and sought thy intercession was left unaided Inspired with this confidence I fly to thee O virgin of virgins my mother to thee I come before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful 
O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady O Most Holy Mary, Immaculate Virgin and Mother, Queen of Angels and Saints, and Refuge of Sinners, I salute Thee with the most profound veneration and filial devotion. I thank Thee for Thy maternal protection and the many blessings that I and many others have received through Thy wondrous mercy and most powerful intercession. O help of Christians, O Queen and Mother of India, I have recourse to Thee with unbounded confidence. I beseech Thee to hear my prayer and to obtain for me the favour I request in the Navina, if it be for the glory of God, to Thy honour and for the good of my soul. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to Thee. Let us pray. O most sweet and merciful Jesus, who has given us to venerate the image of Thy most blessed Mother, graciously grant that amid all the changes of this our life, we may be defended by the constant protection of the Immaculate and Ever-Virgin Mary. May we also be able to attain the reward of Thy eternal redemption, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her so worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and And with with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking, for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research 
that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sing we now in praise of Mary, sing with joy her praises due. Imitate her every virtue as a loyal child and true. In her womb she moulded Jesus, in her heart God's word did stay. Into other Christ she'll change us in a mother's gentle way. Sing of Jesus, Son of Mary, in the home at Nazareth. Toil and labor cannot weary, love's enduring unto death. Constant was the love he gave her, though he went forth from her side. For to preach and heal and suffer, till on Calvary he died.